So we are in the centre of Edinburgh in a building called the McEwen Hall and this is where all of the students of the University of Edinburgh will graduate and have in the past. Um, we're about halfway through the project just now and we are on top of our 3,000 ton scaffold. Scottish wall paintings are working on the scaffold. They are cleaning and restoring all of the painting works, um, all in the second tier, the first tier and around the stage area. We started on site in January, but of course there's a, a massive build-up for a project like this, and looking at it, pricing it, uh, assessing it as best possible, because it was all done from the ground. Um, and then Karen and I started on January doing all the trials, seeing what would work, and then a team of about four or five joined us uh, mid-January, and then we realised that this was an ideal opportunity for student help, and we thought this having been students ourselves and thought this is a fantastic chance to allow students to get hands-on experience. So we sent a message to Edinburgh College of Art, got an enormous response from the students. In a way that's what prompted us to, to approach them really, that this is their, their building and a chance for them to be involved in its restoration, conservation um, and uh, terribly important that they're, they're seeing it from the inside. Mm -hmm. The students come just for a morning or an afternoon and they clean. That's their role. We have had to re repair the paint, repair the plaster, do much more complicated things. And right now we're, we're touching it up. We found lots of signatures, some of them beautifully hidden within the design, uh, dating so we, we can sort of almost plot where people were working. Teams of decorators. There's also the, the main artist who did the canvases, the figurative paintings, William Mannering Palin. Uh, but he, he was more known about, but the, the decorating team that have done all this work have signed it as well, which is nice. Uh, so our program is, there's a lot of theory involved, we sit, you know, we do a lot of lectures, mm -hmm. um, and basically the idea behind our course is we're learning about the, how you restore, revive, regenerate historic buildings, and um, this is really great because we don't always get the chance to go out and use our hands and really sort of work on site. Um, so this is a really, really wonderful opportunity to get to put into practice the kind of stuff that we learn about and see and hear from all the various guests that we have that come into class. It's been really great. Right. Today, um, we've been doing a lot of cleaning. Uh, <laughs> lots of various layers of scrubbing and cleaning and uh, we use different types of materials. We've got cotton wool and that sort of helps clean off the first layer of dirt. And then we've got these really fancy magic sponges that we all love that really make it shiny and sparkly and look the way we hope it'll look when people start graduating from here. <laughs> it's a huge building that's on campus and, you know, sort of the centerpiece. Um, yeah, and it's been really, really exciting, especially knowing that so many students have passed through here for, you know, the last hundred and something years. It's, it's really great to know that we've been a part of that history and the ongoing history that will continue hopefully after we're gone.